sleep. Yes, it's a stormy night. But soon thunder will be away and only the soft sounds of rain will remain. You don't have any fever, have you? Your forehead and cheeks are quite cool. You may be a bit cold. Let me add a wool blanket on you. Let me plump your pillow as well. It's a bit flat, so you'll be more comfortable. So please, slightly raise your head. You comfortable? Good. We 
Would you like me to read a few stories to help you get back to sleep? Yes? Just let me see what I can find in this old chest. One has many stories. Let me see. Oh, this one looks lovely. Let me begin. Once upon a time, in a far away land, in a tiny bedroom under the roof of a huge castle, lived a maid. She has been there for years, working for a very elegant person whom she was quite close to. Of course she was happy there, but as any other person on this earth, she had dreams. Her mind often wandered outside of the castle walls, dreaming of kings and shiny dresses. Somewhere deep in her heart, she believed another life was awaiting her. But she also knew there was no hurry, and meanwhile, she enjoyed her life amongst the most refined things she had in I will then compare your measurements with the dress measurements and see if everything matches. Let's start. This one here is for chest. Mm -hmm, it's correct. And shoulder. feeling excited, Your Grace? I mean, about tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure everything will be fine. Now, second one. Mm-hmm. 
good and I've heard that the Countess will soon give a ball in honor of her son back from the war. Have you heard anything about that? Will you go? Wonderful news. Yes, there will be a ball at the village too. Everyone wants to celebrate. I'm making myself a very fancy dress. Mm -hmm. Not to worry, I won't wear one as beautiful as yours. Soon after that, she went to the village ball where she met someone she wasn't expecting to. The Countess song in disguise. No need to tell you that this evening was the beginning of another story. How did you like this one? Oh, let me put the blanket back on. Are you still comfortable? Another one. Hmm. Well, I see two stories you might enjoy. The first one being about a hairdresser, and the second one about a mysterious fortune teller. Both. Let's dive in the busy streets of an Edwardian town first. It was a bright and clear day in Selke Street. The kind of day that always brings something new. And novelty was right around the corner. In a lovely stone building with large windows. Where we could smell the delicate scent of freshly made soap and violet perfume. Here we go. Is it warm enough? Rinse the hair with clear water.
Mm -hmm. And now let me dry your hair gently. Now it is time to use a hair tonic. As I said, there's a bit of dryness, so I'm going to massage your scalp with a specific lotion that will help your hair stay silky and smooth. Lovely. This lotion contains rosemary oil, almond oil, burdock root, and lavender oil. There we go. This is a very good one, but that must not be used too often. Oh, it may darken your hair. you imagine a secluded manor, somewhere deep in a dark forest, or high on a windy mountain? And how far would you travel there to get a glimpse at what fate holds for you? Show me both of your hands.
a little square here, meaning you tend to protect yourself from others, probably because of a past event that hurt you more than you would admit. Your heart line, it's broken just as the cards showed us. Mm. Your life line looks pretty good, unbroken, strong and long. Same for your headline, but look how they blend at the beginning. You probably needed the love of those who are dear to your heart to fly the nest. Hmm. But this fake line, I've never seen that before. It's very long, crossing your lifeline and it's waving. Sometimes it's weak and sometimes it's strong. Like it's uncertain of the way it follows and would like to follow many. Be careful to not spread yourself too thin. As I said with the chariot card, learn how to find balance. This point can also be the mark of changing something new coming into your life something that hasn't been there before. Not only personal changes, but maybe things you want to change around you. Something you'd like to bring to this world. There's nothing more I can tell you here. You are still awake. Can you hear that? It's going away. The storm is going away. One last story, maybe? is different. It takes place in another world, full of steam engines and shiny machines. How does it sound? Good. It had been a busy day for the doctor. Her office was quite a mess already, and her co-worker Ada was about to end her day. But there was one remaining appointment, and she certainly didn't want to miss this one. For that patient was very dear to her heart. Shortly after she started to get everything ready, she heard Alright, just hold still. Let's start on this side. Mm -hmm. All right. 
nothing unusual on this side let's see the other good wonderful and now I'm going to whisper some words behind your ears on each side and you will repeat them so I'll be sure that your hearing is at its best. Ready? Let's start. Steam and shine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just one last to be sure. Octopus. Wonderful. So now I will use a tuning fork. I'm going to strike it and place it on different parts of your face and you will tell me when you stop hearing the sound, alright? Let's start with the forehead. Alright, where did you hear the sound? Left, right, middle? Left here. And right here. Wonderful. So everything looks normal. You're in great condition and ready to start your mission. Just let me fill your certificate. When they finally left the office, many people were gathering at the harbour, where the inauguration of a submarine was eagerly awaited. The doctor and Ada joined a small group of friends waiting for the captain and they enjoyed one of the best 